Have you had enough about wanting more and better things, situation, people, etc. in your life but not attracting it? Look, we all have our own blockages, limiting beliefs, and it's up to us to work on ourselves to remove them. I'm going to share with you what helps me, the hacks that are helping me in order to align my point of attraction. So in this episode number 119, I'm going to share with you three tips that are going to help you materialize the things that you want and desire in your life. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract the best qualified leads into your business so that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and also you get attached to it a download of some sort, like a PDF, a guide, a cheat sheet, a further training that you can tune into to empower you within your business so that you can move the needle into uh, towards the, the achievement of your goals much faster. In this week's episode, I want to share with you three tips that are going to help you attract all that you're wishing and desiring to align your point of attraction. Now, what is the law of attraction? Some people may think it is just about having a vision board hanging in your bedroom or office. As much as this is helpful, it is not all that it takes to attract and create what you want in life. It is a helpful tool to remind yourself to tune into your vision, yet there are some more tangible elements that you can use in your advantage to really attract and create what you are desiring. So let's tune into this. Back in 2012, a friend of mine gifted me with the book titled Think and Grow Rich. This was the very beginning of my conscious if, if involvement in personal development, my endless journey in personal development, should I say. One of the things that I've learned along the way is that what doesn't grow dies, meaning that our mind needs to be stimulated in order to keep on growing, on moving, on expanding, otherwise it kind of shrinks, right? So personal development is definitely a must and it also means that by expanding your mind, you are able to replace old unhealthy habits by much better, healthier habits. That is what personal development allows you to do, which when creating healthier habits, we also attract healthier things, situations and people into our lives. For example, I've been working on my money mindset for a very long time, just about 10 years on a conscious level. And I actually, after 10 years, re started receiving much more beneficial elements and aspects in my life and, and attracting more quality clients and being able to uh, enter the entrepreneurship full time, getting rid of employment and that I didn't want to be in and I was in for such a long time. Now, does it have to take that long to have a mind shift in whatever area? Does it have, does it have to take 10 years? No, it doesn't have to be. It depends on you, on your growth, on how long you're going to take to actually click with your learning. Sometimes we think that we're learning, we're reading a book and that's gonna be it. It takes actually more than this. It really takes an understanding and also a practice of the learning. Now, personal development comes in different forms, such as books, audiobooks, conferences, online courses, trainings within you know areas, maybe your company or your business provides some trainings, se seminars in whatever form, however it is, you are going to benefit if you're plugging into those on a daily basis, because that is what is going to allow you to grow and also motivate you when you are not feeling it at, at times. Because as entrepreneurs, 
This is inevitable. We are going through roller coasters on a regular basis. My second tip is to be part of a community. This is another aspect that has been introduced to me back in 2012 by another friend. And that is the sense of being part of a community, something which is bigger than myself. The importance of being part of something bigger than ourselves and of a community is the fact that we are surrounding ourselves with like-minded people to start with and also to be supported when we need it. That is going to help make sure that you are sustaining yourself to, and committing yourself better towards the achievement of your goals, especially when the, tough, the, the times are being tough. That's going to happen again. Having a support system and a positive surrounding is essential to unlock your mind and attract what you truly desire because you will be lifted up when you need it and also you'll be rewiring your mind your neural by creating new neurological pathways within your mind to attract what you what you desire by when you're hanging out with people we say you are the average of the 5 to 6 people you hang out the most with hanging out with the people that you want to get where they are and acquire what they already have, so their lifestyle, for example, then they would rub off on you. That is how it works. It's when you are associating yourself with people that you want to be like, that you are going to attract and create the same or similar lifestyles that they have. And as you know, each and every single week, I do equip you with a freebie of some sort. This week, because we're talking about the, the law of attraction, the point of attraction, how to unlock your mind to acquire what you desire and you wish, I put together a 25 affirmations guide that you can get by clicking the yellow button below this video. This is going to help you rewire your mind on a daily basis. Having affirmations, again, it's not about just repeating them uh, with no meaning, it's actually really tuning into them and repeating them, even if you have to put yourself in front of the mirror, as crazy as it might sound. I used to do that at some point. And that is going to help you reprogram your mind to a level of attraction of what you are desiring in life. So if you want to get access to my 25 affirmations guide, you can click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you are on my YouTube channel or any other platform online, you can go into somewhere around this video in the description section. There will be a link. When you click it, it will redirect you back onto my blog. And again, once you're there below this video, you will see a massive yellow button that you cannot miss at all. And my last tip, yet my favorite of all times, is meditation. Take some me time for yourself to tune into yourself, to meditate. They are different style of meditations around that you can try. I've tried several times, several uh, type of meditations and I found the one that suits me and however no matter what meditation type you are using and tuning into each and every single day try your best to do it twice a day once in the morning once in the evening so you can start your day on the best foot possible tuning into your desires your wishes yourself your feelings your thoughts and then at night as well, so it allows you to first cool down from your day and go back to bed with your mind being rewired with a sense of alignment, focused, being centered, and have an energy shift within your body. This is what meditation does or should do if it's done properly. It is quite rare for me to miss my meditation practice because I know the benefit that I get from it, which are amazing. Now, if you are wanting to accelerate your point of attraction, you might want to use some guided meditation that are helping you with a little bit of a visualization type of support. And no matter what meditation you're going to use, you're going to elevate your uh, to the higher source and align your point of attraction 
with what you want in your business and your life as well. What I have done is included in the show notes right at the bottom of this blog in the written version, you'll see there's um, a meditation that I use also personally, one of the meditations that I use. And it is a guided meditation with visualization. I'll give you the link below. You can get access to it. If you have any questions, let me know. Meditation is my favorite practice of all time because of the benefit that it provides. I, I could talk about it all day long for what I get from it and what it provides other people as well in the type of mind that you, mindset shift that you can get from just meditating, the energy shift that you can get immediately when it's done properly. So feel free to check the, the, the resources, the show notes at the bottom of this blog and you'll see the one of the meditations that I am using and you can get access to as well. So essentially, the way to unlock your mind and attract what you desire in life is to f connect from within you and also create a positive surrounding, environment for yourself with people and things that are actually uplifting you and, and making you move the needle closer to where you wanna be rather than draining your energy out of you. You wanna be mindful of this. So remember the, uh, for the, the three tips to unlock your mind and align your point of attraction are personal development to be tuning into on a daily basis a supportive community, again, that I would definitely suggest to tune into that every single day, because why not? And then meditation, huge, 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 when done properly on a regular basis, daily basis, twice a day, you're going to have a mind shift and a lot of things are going to happen for you, my friend. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you can definitely share it with your friends, your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you believe could benefit from knowing those three tips of point of attraction and unlocking the mind. And they will also get access to the 25 affirmations guide that you will get by clicking the yellow button below this video. Question of the week. What are some healthy habits that you are practicing on a regular basis or that you are desiring to put into place? Let me know in the comment section what is it that you do on a daily basis to start your day on a good foot or, or finish it on a good foot or keep you going throughout the day. I'd love to learn from you what is it that you're, you're doing and, uh, and try some of them if I don't, I, don't know, I don't know those tips. So thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week. This is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.